Towns along the Mississippi River are cautiously optimistic that sandbagging efforts will prevent homes and businesses from flooding. Good afternoon. I'm Courtney Bryant in for Claire Kellett. The river is expected to crest tonight in Ellsbury and Winfield and tomorrow in downtown St. Louis. Russell Kinsall has learned even if there's no flooding, the swollen river is already having a major impact. Russell is live downriver in Kimswick. That's right. Right now here in Kimswick, workers are in the process of building a temporary levee here on the southeast side of Kimswick. They've put down a layer of high clay content soil and they're going to stack sandbags on top of that. If you take a look beyond that, the Mississippi River, you can see it encroaching on the land underneath that railroad bridge. Right now, the river should be very busy with bar traffic, but not when it's as high and as swift as it is right now. Every year, millions of tons of products are shipped up and down the Mississippi River from cement to oil to grain. But most of the bar traffic has stopped for now out of an abundance of caution. I talked with a company in St. Louis that makes fertilizer, and they told me now is the time that they need to be getting the fertilizer delivered upriver for farmers, but they can't till the river goes down and it's safer. Also not moving on the river, are riverboat cruises that start at the arch. The cruises began in early March but had to stop because of the high river and won't start back up till next week. That's bad news for families visiting St. Louis on spring break. Well, we're here on spring break and we came down to visit family and, and see the arch and we actually were going to do the riverboat ride but noticed it was not running, assuming for the high water reasons. It's been amazing um, coming down, even driving from Minneapolis, seeing all the water in the fields and whatnot from through Iowa into Missouri and then here to see the river already high and then to imagine what it's going to be like in the coming week once our snow all melts. Now, the Coast Guard has barred all recreational traffic on the Mississippi River from St. Louis to Chester, Illinois. If the river tops 38 feet in St. Louis, as it's expected tomorrow, the Coast Guard could also bar all commercial traffic until the river goes down a little bit. Now, coming up on News 4 at 5, I got to tell you more about what they're doing to build this temporary levee right here and how it could be here till mid June. You heard that guy from Minneapolis talking about the snow melt. Well, the snow melt is what could keep, be keeping it here for weeks to come. You'll learn more about that coming up on News 4 at 5. Live in Kimswick, Russell Kinsall, News 4.